and welcome to another lawn clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are doing a Lawn Fawn look back at harvest season and heebie-jeebies. So we have all of these fun things going on over at the blog, lawnfawn.blogspot.com, including lots of giveaways and amazing design team samples. You're just gonna love it, so make sure to head on over there. Um, but today we're gonna look back at two of our fall sets that we had last year that are just so much fun and work so well with the sets we're releasing this year. So either you have them and you'll get some fun new ideas to use them again this year or you've never used these stamps before and maybe you'll get inspired um, to use them in your next craft project. So let's uh, just talk about these. We'll talk about heebie-jeebies first and this is uh, our medium size set, 4x3 Halloween set and this is really really fun for treat bags um, and, and kind of goodies like that and of course fun Halloween cards too. So I just thought I'd stamp these out real fast and just show you what they're all about. This web is just too cool um, and it's perfect for having the little spiders and things in the set hang off of. So let's just stamp this guy out real fast. And I really like cutting this one out, um, you know, cutting around the web shape and then using that on, you know, treat bags or like little treat sticks like lollipops and things like that. Um, you can get really, really cute stuff with that. So instead of a circle, you kind of have this fun web shape. Oh, look at that, as usual, ink everywhere. Um, <laughs> so we've got our fun, uh, you know, web there. And then we've got this adorable spider who could hang off the web or also just hang off maybe some cool pattern paper or anything in um, on a layout or on a card. And um, this is, again, a very friendly Halloween set. So very kid-friendly, not scary, just cute. So there's our little spider, and he looks adorable hanging off anywhere off the web. Or you could just have him hanging off, um, you know, the top of your card or something, which would be really, really cute. We've got two fun bats in this set. They're, they are, like, seriously cute. Like, I didn't think bats could be cute until we made these bats, and I said, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. These are adorable. So we've got the sleeping bat and the flying bat. Um, and these are really fun to create scenes with and would be really cool around the haunted house from Happy Haunting. So here is this. And those are our two cute bats. And I love drawing a straight line with the ruler and having the bats hang off the line all over a card. It's really, really cute um, and really fun. And really, I never thought I could say the bats were cute. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got a little sentiment here that's also perfect for using with, with ha this year's Happy Haunting and with heebie-jeebies, and that's Boo. And that's really cute for also for treats and things because it's a nice little sentiment. And so here it is right there. So I'm just going to add some uh, quick coloring on these on these sets here and on excuse me on these bats and spiders and I just like to use shades of gray for them or you could even get really fun and do like purples and things like that too. So here we are with just the bats colored. I kind of liked leaving some like really light space in the wings here and then this one I kind of made them lighter and just outlined the edges and then this spider I made them a lot darker. So you can just kind of play around and do a lot of fun things. Um, I usually when I do blacks I tend to color and I wish I had more, two, more gray markers. I only have two gray markers so I kind of make it work with what I have. I think I've been watching too much Project Runway but um, you know I make it work with the two markers I have and one day I'll, I'll get to buy some more grays but the more grays you have you can kind of layer because it's easier to make the the black kind of look like it has life than just using the this black marker here. I don't I can't work very well with this one when I try to color with it I end up kind of going outside the lines and it doesn't look great so I really like to use grays to make black if that makes sense. So it ends up being more like I guess charcoal gray or something like that. <laughs> okay so now let's take a quick look at harvest season. So harvest season is this all around fall and Thanksgiving set that I just love and it's going to go really well with the set that we have tomorrow to show you guys. And um, this one has great sentiments like you are a blessing to me which works year round um, because it's kind of just a nice thoughtful sentiment to send to someone with a card. The pumpkin is so much fun and you can do cool things like you'll see on a card from our design team she put a smiley face on the the pumpkin and made it more of a jack-o-lantern which is really really cute and um, and so you can do that or have kind of the more serious pumpkin I love the idea of lots of pumpkins kind of creating a pumpkin patch especially on a layout it would look really cute um, the fall leaves are so much fun and could go along with any Halloween or fall or Thanksgiving project um, and we have solids and outlines so you can kind of do different ones and these are really fun to color with distress 
sinks especially because you can really get that fall rustic look. And these swirls here are really great to show the movement of the leaves, but they also make re really great backgrounds and flourishes for underneath sentiments and just creating kind of cool tone-on-tone -tone backgrounds. And this cornucopia is so much fun to color and it's just the perfect Thanksgiving thing. This is really great for place cards because you can have it here and then have the person's name right here on a place card and it looks so pretty. Um, I did that, well, I started to do that last year. I got through about four people's names, so I'm hoping by next year I'll have everybody's place cards, or really not next year, in a couple months I'll have everybody's place cards done is my hope. So, um, and then here we, of course, we've got our happy Thanksgiving sentiment, which is just great to have um, for, for decorations and for sending cards to people. So, um, I've seen lots of Thanksgiving cards getting really popular, people sending them earlier than Christmas cards and doing Thanksgiving, which is kind of fun. So that would be really cool for that. So let's just stamp out a few of these images and kind of just have some fun with them. So we've got, um, you know, this great sentiment here. Let's stamp that out. The you are a blessing to me. And the great thing about this is these are, th the letters are big enough and separate enough that you could definitely just ink up parts of it and make it a long sentiment too. So you can have it stacked like this or be long. So it kind of works perfect on this. And um, I think these, this would really be fun if you had like grateful for type cards going around at Thanksgiving. I think it would be really sweet to use this as kind of like a thing and then somebody could write what they're grateful for this Thanksgiving. Um, we've got our pumpkin. I love this pumpkin. I, I love fall and it's, which is silly because I don't live anywhere where we, we don't even have fall in Southern California, but I am just, uh, I love fall. So here is this great big sort of bulbous pumpkin here, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I just, uh, it's just, it looks so wonderful. You just want to just have them all decorating your house. And let's see, let's stamp out here our cornucopia. It's not Thanksgiving without a cornucopia. So let's see here. And I don't own a cornucopia, so now I can just stamp them out and color them and decorate with them that way. <laughs> so here's the cornucopia, which is just a really fun, beautiful image. Great for coloring with Copics and colored pencils. And paper piecing looks really, really cool with this, too. So just love that. We have um, our fun leaves here. So let's uh, let's get them all here on the block. Well, actually, we'll just do the two these two outline leaves. And what's fun about these leaves is not only creating pretty cards, but also doing really great backgrounds for say, um, this cornucopia here. Um, you could do some really great tone on tone backgrounds with them, especially with these solid leaves I'm gonna stamp out next. They're great for sort of setting the scene or creating backgrounds for any Halloween or fall project. And then you could also, you could do them in spring greens and have a great spring, like a bunch of leaves in the background too. It doesn't just have to be fall, which I like that also. And one technique I really like doing with these leaves is doing, um, what do they call it, like rock and roll or something like that technique, where you take, let me see, um, let's get a great, where's my orange, spice marmalade, and then take a nice red. So I'm going to stamp them out in this orange, and then I'm going to take the red and kind of go around the edges of the leaves. So I'm just trying to get the edges a little bit here just like that. If you guys can see that hopefully, you're just kind of getting the different edges and then when you look at it you can see this cool pattern. And it's not going to look perfect but that's kind of the idea is the fall rustic look. So there you can kind of see this really great variation. And if you even took colors that were even more, so instead of barn door that say we used fired brick and we did the same technique. So we're going to stamp it out in the spice marmalade. And then you could do this with yellow and orange and all the different fall colors and add some greens in too. And I'm gonna take this fired brick and go around the edges. I'm gonna get a little bit more of the edges even this time. And there's no right or wrong way to doing this. You just kind of get it where you think and then try it out. And so here we go. And there you can see the color difference even more. And you get these really cool and it's really pretty as a background. Or even just um, little mini cards with one leaf looks really, really nice too. And you can do that with greens also to get the, um, the look of spring leaves too. So that could work out really well for that. So we've got those there. And then of course we have our leafy swirls here. And these are just fun little swirls that you can use. And you could use it for movement even for like birds or anything that you can think of. So just gonna stamp that out real fast here. 
and they're just really pretty and you can use them for just highlighting sentiments and creating movement for different animals or critters or leaves just um, and also creating kind of elegant swirl patterns flourish patterns on your cards and then of course we have our happy thanksgiving sentiment and so for this one here and the great thing about this one it's long so you can curve it and and do kind of creative fun things like circle cards and and stuff like that but let's just ink it up and we have our happy thanksgiving here um, which is just yeah, just a great sentiment and also you could even just stamp out the thanksgiving on the top of a menu and that would be really really sweet too for your thanksgiving menu so um, I'm gonna color these in because I think this just this is just at, just screaming for color. Okay, so now we have some color on here. I did the pumpkin here, and I like starting with the pumpkin. Um, there's actually one called pumpkin yellow, so I just kind of went went along with what it told me to do. So I did the YR15, and then um, I actually sometimes will even layer the the Y19 a yellow underneath it too. And then I went to an orange, and then I have an even uh, just plain orange, and then Chinese orange, even darker orange above that to really shade the pumpkin. And I like to use in this set we the lines kind of guide where your shading should be so that really really helps out and then um, outlining these here in green is kind of fun um, it just kind of adds a pop of color but when you cut it out you could actually eliminate those and just have just a, the plain kind of pumpkin or jack-o-lantern idea um, the cornucopia you'll see like that a lot of the vegetables are kind of a little bit ambiguous um, obviously the grapes and the pumpkin aren't but some of these could be squash or corn or apples or pears or anything like that and that's so that you could match to your coloring to your project. So if you want to make this a, a different colored squash or if you want to make this a corn, whatever matches your project works. So that's what's really fun about the cornucopia. And then the leaves, you can just go crazy. I like adding a little bit of a light green into the veins to kind of give it that, that look, you know, of the fallen leaves. And then here, of course, are all of our um, kind of distressing rolling in the different inks to kind of get these fun fall kind of burnt looks and our nice swirls and our happy Thanksgiving sentiment. And then the you are a blessing to me. And that is all is harvest season. And then we have, of course, the heebie-jeebies that we did before with the web and the fun spider that can hang from the web or anywhere on your card, especially from the top of the card is really cute right here. Our fun boo sentiment and then the two different kinds of bats that are going to be really great for cards and also for combining with our new happy haunting set. And all of these can kind of go together so the bats and the pumpkins could go together to get more of a Halloween look or you can go kind of in this direction and get more of the Thanksgiving look or just thought fall, you know, if you want to just have fall. So there's all sorts of different things that you can do with the season including using this set sentiment all year round. You, you could use the bats all year round if you had a friend that really loved bats. And then you could also do um, the You Are a Blessing to Me all year round and some fun spring leaves. And swirls and flourishes are a year round kind of thing too. So that is our two sets for our Lawn Fawn look back and I hope you guys just love it. Make sure to head on over to the blog lawnfawn.blogspot.com to enter to win these sets and all of our brand new sets too. And tomorrow we'll be back with one more video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.